hello. I've had this Thomas Kincaid Studios book for a little while. It's actually the poster version and I am dying to colour in a picture from it. This is the one I'm going to do today. It's the cover image. The cover is what caught my eye when I was in the bookshop so I just really want to colour this one in. But just to make things, you know, a little bit more difficult for myself, I'm going to colour it in with 200 coloured pencils. Yay! So if you've been watching my previous videos, you will see that I've been on a bit of a coloured pencil kick, and this is kind of a quadrilogy of videos that are all related to one another, although they are standalone as single videos as well. But I started out by reviewing the Caran d'Ache Luminance coloured pencils, 100 of them in two sets. Now I've got this in a 40 set but there are 24 pencils from the portrait set in here and there are 76 colored pencils in this one which is the original large set. So we have 100 colored pencils in the Caran d'Ache Luminance range. And then I drew a picture of my cat Gandalf with these so now that picture is hanging up on my wall. Then I decided I would put this set in with the Derwent Lightfast pencils, which I also have in the full set. So we have 72 of them in this set, and I have an extra tin with the final 28 pencils that they released after the 72 set, which are in this one. I really wish there was a tin that held all 100 of them. I know there's a wooden box, but that is super expensive, and I'm not willing to get that right now. <laughs> so here we have 200 pencils and I'm going to use them all in this colouring in picture today. I'm very excited and a bit nervous because I have never used so many pencils in one picture but I think this picture is going to work for it. I really hope so. It may not be exactly the same as the cover but I'm just going to colour it how I would normally colour something in. I was trying to think of the best way to do this so that I know that I've used every single pencil. We have another couple of spare tins here. These are Faber-Castell ones. Each of these holds 120 pencils. And then as I use the pencils, I'm going to put them back into their original tins. And then I will know which ones I have used and which ones I have yet to use. Oh my goodness, this is so confusing. <laughs> The Derwent pencils are too long to fit properly in the Faber-Castell trays, but it will do temporarily just so that I can move the pencils from here into their original trays. And I've kept them in the same order just so it's easier for myself to put them away. Now the Caran d'Aches fit much more easily into the plastic holders. So here we have 200 pencils, the Caran d'Ache Luminance and the Derwent Lightfast. I've got my colouring page and I'm all ready to go. And I will mention that today is also my and Nick's wedding anniversary. 14 years would you believe? So I thought I would do a romantic-y looking picture for that. <laughs> That's as good as I'm getting for it. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So the first question was, where do I start? And I thought that it would be easiest to begin with the two main characters, Snow White and the Handsome Prince, dancing in the middle of the picture. The background is really complicated and it's one of those pictures that you just keep seeing more and more the longer you look at it. So I thought, start out with the figures and then work into the background. I'm really glad I did it that way because it just made it a lot easier and I was able to work away at it in logical steps. But I cannot believe how long this took me to do. It was so time consuming. I am guessing around 15 hours or so. My goodness, it was over days. And having to use all 200 pencils made it that much more difficult. I ended up using quite a lot of them just in one small area, going over her dress with about five different yellows, I think, but it also really built up the layers and I think it was a lot more effective than just using one or two pencils in an area. And I'm happy to say that I did actually use all 200 pencils in this entire drawing. Granted some more than others, there were a few that only had a tiny amount in there. But I did use them all, I promise you. You'll have to take my word for it because it was impossible to show everything on the camera. I think I did pretty well with Snow White and the Prince. I really like how the colours turned out. And then I started in on the dwarves, and I'm missing a little bit of footage there for some reason. I'm not too sure what's going on with that fish the second dwarf is holding, but it looks positively outraged. <laughs> 
So it's interesting to notice that all of the dwarves have exactly the same skin color. Even in the painting, I was noticing that. So I pretty much use the same pencils for every single dwarf on their skin tones. The russet was excellent for adding in the rosy cheeks and noses that they all had. Grumpy's pose looks exactly like me when I'm at a social situation and I really want to go home. <laughs> Perfect introvert pose right there. Uh, I identify with Grumpy so much more than I ever did as a child. So in this picture, I tried to recreate the colours that were in the original painting. I mean, it's not going to look the same because this has a black outline over everything, and also because the original is a painting and not a coloured pencil piece, but I think I did pretty well at getting quite close to it. Although I noticed that once I started getting into the background, the colours did change a little bit because I was desperately trying to use all of the pencils. I decided my next step was going to be colouring the ground and adding in the sunlight with the shadows dappling across it and I think it actually turned out really well. I used dusky purples for the shadow areas and it was just the perfect colour. Both sets have a nice purpley colour so I think I ended up using one from the luminance set and the other from the light fast one. Both sets of pencils worked perfectly well with each other, there were no issues with blending or anything like that. And I'm surprised at how well this paper actually held up. It's quite a thick paper but it's also incredibly smooth and when I was starting it out I was thinking is this even going to work, am I even going to be able to layer and blend the pencils? But yeah they were fine, they sat on there perfectly well. I was able to create multiple layers without any issues at all. So that is a big win, I was really hoping that was going to work. The stairs I think probably were the most frustrating part, it just took forever putting in those shadows. But I got there eventually and I ended up colouring the castle and I think the well with a lot of the same sorts of colours because it just kind of merged the whole picture together and it does look like that in the painting as well. So these pencils around here were the most used of all of them. The blues, now there were a lot of blues in both sets and it was hard to use them all because some parts of the picture have a bit of blue but there really isn't that much and so in the end I was struggling to use some of the darker blues but I decided that they would work quite well as shadows around the picture so that's what I did. I put them mainly in the corners and places like that and then I covered over them with say a dark green or something like that and it did add a lot of depth into the picture. You'll see in a while that the background is where I started to get fatigued. There was so much detail and colouring in all of the flowers and the different bushes and trees. It was exhausting. I was absolutely wrecked by the end of this picture. But I did have quite a good time with it and I hope you enjoy the end result because I'm really proud with how this one turned out.
I'm done. I can't do anymore. My hand is aching. My eyes are sore. I am very, very tired. I'm really happy it's finished. I mean, I think it looks really cool. Although there are a few little sketchy bits where I was just so fatigued I needed to get it finished. But otherwise, I'm really happy with it. And I am excited to have finally done one of the posters out of that book. Am I going to do the others? Mm. Maybe not for a while, but yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and happy anniversary to my lovely husband. I will see you all again in my next video. I hope you're taking care out there. Swatch you later. Bye.